hello friends you are welcome to anchor network where you get updates of things that you really need to know i appreciate every one of you who has been part of this channel who has subscribed and as many that are still contemplating whether to subscribe or not i will encourage you to do that because i know you are not going to regret it at the end of the day please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon the bell icon is very important because if you don't click the bell icon you will not be notified anytime we publish any news and more so i have a gift for everyone or as many that are interested on how to build a website there is a website link in the description section once you open it there's a video that will teach you on how to build a website from beginning to the end thank you very much so let's go straight to the business of the day New Nigeria passport has Esme inscribed on it, Apostle Suleiman Halat. The general overseer of the Omega Fire Ministries, Apostle John C. Suleiman, has alerted that the new Nigerian passport has Esme inscribed in it. The fiery pastor made a statement on Thursday while condemning the Ruga program by the federal government. That's the new Nigerian passport. It has it now has Esme inscribed in it. It's shameful that a certain extraction now represents a nation with six geopolitical zones. Everything is now very clear. God will frustrate every evil agenda in Nigeria. Job 5 verse 12 and Ecclesiastes 8 verse 11. He said it was shameful how a certain extraction of Nigerians could now represent the six geopolitical zones in the country. Saying everything is now clear that there is a fulanization agenda being aimed at Nigeria. Apostle Suleiman said he gets irritated when people say uh, speaking against fulanization is political. He said he loves the Fulanis especially because they are good ones with a great heart, very nice and loving Fulani men and women. He however said that the bad ones are doing so much damage to that extraction. According to him, that's a new Nigeria passport. It now has Esme inscribed in it. It's shameful that a certain extraction now represents a nation with six geopolitical zones. Everything is now clear. God will frustrate every evil agenda in Nigeria. I get irritated when people say our speaking against fulanization is political. Have you heard me complain of economy, of the increase of Nigeria's debt? That's for politicians to tackle, but security is for us all. Human life is sacrosanct. I love Fulanis. They are good ones with a great heart, very nice and loving Fulani men and women. But these headers are doing so much damage to that extraction. I responded to someone by saying, rearing cattle isn't the definition of agriculture. I still repeat it. Agriculture is too elaborate for you to streamline it to cattle rearing. So please keep retweeting my earlier tweet if you like. I will stand by it. The question is, is there an inscription of Esme on the new Nigerian passport? Check your new passport. Type your comments. Let's hear your views below. So, guys, you know, the thing is really something. You know, the other time we were like, okay, Obasanjo, you know, for him to have been the, the former head of state, the former president of the country, he has some... You know, level of information, even at its level. People were like, oh, this ambassador, this ambassador, that, you know, he has done a lot of evil before. Why we see he speaking? It's part of the people that have spoiled this country, that have destroyed this country, and all of that. Okay, if really he was part of the people that destroyed the country, and now he sees something that is, you know, strange to everybody, everybody believes that he should be quiet, that he doesn't have that moral right to talk. He was saying it, everybody wanted his head, but see what's Though we still need to confirm that, but according to what is Suleiman is saying, that he saw the inscription of a Fulani Esme inside a new Nigerian passport, which is really, really disturbing. And I, I would, some people will still come and defend this. They will come and defend this thing. When Obasanjo was saying it, he has some level of information, security information that he will still be getting. Even at his level, even people that are not even up to him, they still get some kind of security, some information. Great information at that. But because of his position, he has that God. A lot of people don't have that God to come and say, okay, this is what we have seen. Because if it turns out, even if it turns out to be truth, they will want to like harm that person. Everybody will just be quiet. But because Obasanjo is bold, what do you want to do to him? So he can speak anyway. And that was why he was the only person. People have been saying it before now. But they couldn't really come as, you know, boldly and, and 
make mention of it but he was so bold and that was why they are people are not happy the people that really know all of this since they are not really happy that he came out to say it but now they felt okay it's been this uh uh it's been divisive he's trying to separate everybody he's trying to cause chaos he's trying to cause commotion in the whole country they they abuse him there's no name they didn't give him so with all of these things that we are seeing those one that always support this government they should continue supporting him they should continue supporting them. They should continue to support the president. All of us who are going to see it at the end of the day. Whatever comes out of it, everybody's going to bear it. Let them continue supporting what is not. We need to come together and, you know, have a, a united force, a united voice. That is what we need now. We need to come together. I think a lot of people are beginning to see a lot of things now. You know, but there's still pockets of them like that. They're still arguing. They're still like, you know, they're still clinging to their political godfathers, political whatever. So, guys, that's just my own opinion concerning what uh, Apostle Suleiman, you know, is really bringing everybody awareness to. Let us just look at it holistically. I would like you guys to put down your comments in the comment section below. Let us hear your own opinion concerning this. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>